Hi there, and a very, very warm welcome to this video series on Suno Studio. My name is Larry Holcomb, aka Get to Know, and I'm delighted to be delivering this video series with Groove 3. So, what is Suno Studio? Well, Suno Studio is a brand new generative audio workstation. Suno as a platform has been around for a while, allowing you to generate tracks using AI. But with Suno Studio, we can actually work more in a kind of DAW framework, or as they call it, a GAW, a generative audio workstation. So it's basically merging the principle of a DAW to allow you to sequence music, sequence audio, etc. But it combines that with an AI kind of powered workflow. So you can do your traditional kind of layering, arranging and editing. But you can also extract stems using AI. You can record audio as you could do with a normal DAW and just tempo, things like that. But you can actually also generate AI stems so you can add bass lines or vocals or percussion to projects that don't already have those parts. You can remix existing songs that you might have already created. So basically it's trying to replace the need to be kind of scrolling through sample libraries, trying to find the perfect sound, because this is going to actually analyze your music and try and create something which is going to go along with what you already have. And also, rather than having to try and find someone in your local area that could work as a session musician, you can actually kind of use Suno to collaborate with to create your music. Now, obviously, AI is a slightly contentious subject. And I definitely encourage you not to look at this as a platform for just putting in a prompt and calling yourself a musician, you know, but AI is not going anywhere. And to be able to use the technology to make your own music better and to make you more creative, I think is the way forward when it comes to AI. So if you're looking at this as a way to basically kind of make up for maybe some shortcomings you might have in your own kind of skill set, well, then Suno Studio can be a great option to kind of lean on to allow you to create better music. Okay, so in this first video, we're just going to look at this at a basic level and have a look at some of the things we can do here to start with. Okay, so this is our main kind of Suno display and across to the left here, we have a sidebar essentially. Now we have some options here, home, create, and then studio. Click on studio and it's going to take us through to Suno Studio. Now you do need to have, I believe it's the pro account to be able to use Suno Studio. So make sure you sign up for that as you won't be able to use the Suno Studio features unless you have the account that allows you to use Suno Studio rather than just Suno on its own. Okay, so when we open up a new untitled project, just come up here, we have these three kind of options down here. This is called the contextualized bar at the bottom. And this is the timeline here. So this is our kind of beats and bars. So we can go through and create our track in here. And let's talk a little bit about what you could do with this platform. So some different kind of workflow ideas. Well, if you've seen my video series previously on using AI, you would have seen me use Suno to create a track idea. Now, previously, what you'd be able to do is you'd be able to create the track idea and then you can export it. You could also export kind of rudimentary stems. So it would basically split the stereo file into stems, much like Logic's stem splitting function will do. So it's not perfect and you'd lose a bit of quality and there'd be bleed between the stems. But now you can do the same thing. So you can create songs. But now you can kind of separate these out into stems that are much, much, much better quality. So I'm not sure if they regenerate the stems from scratch or how exactly it works, but it's not like they've just taken the stereo file and done a kind of a fairly crude extraction of the stems. It's much, much better quality. So if you're in a studio and you're lacking a little bit of a creative spark, come into Suno, put in a prompt, try and generate something, and then go in and start using those parts as raw material to remix to make your own music. For me personally, the idea of going in and putting in a prompt and then that's the song, has zero interest for me personally. It may interest you, especially if you're doing more film-based stuff and you just want some music to put on there, you know, YouTubers, people like that, cool. But if you're a musician and you're an artist, to me that doesn't hold any interest at all, just leaving it there. But the idea of being able to maybe put in your own track and generate new parts or even, you know, looking at it as if you're a beat maker who's sampling. So you could try and make a track to then sample and chop up and make your own and put your own creative slant on. That's quite appealing. So that's one of the things you could do with Suno. You could also take a track you've already got and use Suno to generate new parts for it, essentially kind of remixing the track you've already got. And of course, you can upload audio, record audio into there as well. If you're a lyricist, you could maybe just put your own lyrics in there. And, you know, if you're a lyricist, but not a singer or a songwriter, you could write lyrics, put them in there. And Suno will then generate a song for you, which you can then bring into the timeline and edit and remix yourself. So, yeah, you can use it to remix songs create songs and then, you know, get raw materials to create your own beats with, add vocals to existing tracks. You could write lyrics and have Suno create a song for you, which you can then remix, or you can use it just to generate some new parts for a track. So loads of different options. And, you know, I definitely encourage you to try and look at this creatively and ways that you could use this yourself. Okay. So 
to start with, let's create a song in this first video. So I'm going to imagine that we're going to create some raw materials to kind of make a beat with. So I'm going to imagine I'm like a hip hop producer or something and I want to make a beat using Suno Studio. Okay, so we can write some lyrics or leave blank for an instrumental. Now we can have AI write the lyrics for us or we can put our own lyrics in there. So I'm going to use AI, so I'm going to do write full song. So this means Suno is going to write the lyrics for us. So I'm going to say describe the lyrics you want or share a theme or topic. So let's say a song about longing quite abstract lyrically let's put a cool song because i don't want anything too kind of cheesy so let's see what it comes up with so we'll click write lyrics and it's going to give us two alternative uh, song ideas here or lyric ideas oh how i long for the deep okay I'm not sure if I, just trying to take a sip of you, if I like that line there, and there's a lot of them. So let's select this option here. Sometimes AI will come up with some really strange songs, which can be quite funny. Okay, so again, we're going for the kind of beat maker option. So let's say I'm going for 70s soul, rare groove, mid tempo. Okay, so I'm gonna go with that as an option. Now if we click on to here, we can actually flesh this out so it will kind of generate a bit more information that we can go through and then edit but yeah it just gives the ai a bit more to go on if we're a little bit stuck on what we want to put in then we can do that as well we have some advanced options here so we can choose gender let's go female style and influence keeps quite high weirdness we'll keep this quite low so we want it to be quite, not obvious, but, you know, stick to the brief quite closely, I suppose, let's say. Okay, so what we can do is put a title in here. Now, it's taken the title from the lyrics, that's fine. I do encourage you to come up with titles because very quickly you can get a lot of different ideas and you don't know what's what, and it's quite hard work. So workspaces is areas that we can save our kind of raw materials, essentially. So if we go down to the Save To section and we say My Workplace, See, I've actually come up with a Groove 3 course workplace here where I can save things. So I know where it's going to be located. So if I click Create, it's going to go ahead and it's going to make this song idea. It's going to create two different kind of alternative songs like this. Now, I should just say there's different algorithms we can use. The latest one is version 5, which is far, far more advanced than the previous version, which I think was, well, I think it was 4.5, but the last one I used was 3, I think. So it's moved on a long way since then. So I definitely suggest you have it on the version 5 algorithm. Okay, so these areas here can be kind of minimized like so. So we can minimize the timeline, minimize the create thing. And here we have our workspace essentially. So here are our two songs. So let's see what it's come up with. So we're going to have a chorus coming up. So it has quite a nice movement to it and dynamic to it. So not too bad. I mean, there's some interesting things. I don't know why it's suddenly got dandelion head in there. And my vessel has been fed. I'm not sure if that line is quite working. But you can hear it's a pretty cool example of what it's supposed to be. Okay, so let's try the other one. Heavens are home to the flowers. 
Nice groove. So for me, like the always running free line, you know, I could imagine myself just taking that vocal and chopping up and just taking that one line, that always running free line and using that in a track. I think that would be quite cool. So it may just be a little part of it, which you find interesting to use. OK, so I think I'm going to try the first one. OK, so what we could do here is we've got two options here. We've got remix edit and we've got extract stems. Let's click on remix edit and you can see we can open in studio. So let's do that. This you could do in the original Suno, but what you can't do is obviously split it out into stems and treat it like you would do it in a DAW and generate new parts, etc. OK, so here we have this loaded into the stereo file. We can go through and chop it up and make a beat with it, but we're a little bit limited because we're just working with a stereo file. So let's just come back and load the track in from the workspace. We do have an option here as well, which is extract stems. So we can just do the vocals and instrumental or we can do all detected stems. Now, what this is going to do is going to basically generate stems for this track. And you'll see it's going to come up with loads of different stems here. So it's quite extensive. And these we can now bring into Suno Studio to work with. OK, so we'll leave it there for the first video. So what have we done in this video? Well, we discussed about what Suno Studio is all about, really. Different ideas of what you could use it for. That's not an exhaustive list of what you can do with this program. And as I said, I encourage you to really apply it to your own workflow and try and find innovative ways of using it. But ways that I could think of using it would be to obviously generate kind of samples as raw materials to chop up to make your own beats. If you're a YouTuber or, you know, you're making videos and you want some quick and easy music to put on the videos, it could be good for generating that. You could use it to generate new sounds for a track idea you're stuck on or kind of, yeah, new raw material to add into your project. You can use it to generate vocals if you're comfortable doing that. You could, if you're a lyricist, you could put your lyrics in and get it to write songs for you. So that's just a few ideas that you could use this program for. And then what we did was we went through the kind of create function, really. So we put in some lyrics using AI. So AI generated some lyrics for us. And then we created a kind of 70s soul kind of vibe that we could then use to chop up and make a track with. And then I showed you how you can add that into Suno Studio, just a stereo file. And then we reloaded it into kind of this sidebar here so we could extract the stems. And that's now in the process of extracting. And in the next video, we'll bring that into Suno Studio. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.